All right, Cole, just no fancy introduction. What's going on, guys? The Inhuman Beatdown, and welcome to The Age of Arcade. And today we're kind of having a look at a game that I feel like doesn't really need an introduction, but I'm going to give one anyways, because of course I will. There's just, there's no audio. Uh, he's fucked me up. Yeah, there's just no audio. Trust me. Otherwise, we'd be deaf. Uh, this is Dungeons & Dragons, the Tower of Doom. The first of two Dungeons & Dragons arcade games made by Cupcomb. Uh, published in 1994 is the first of two, like I said, based on Dungeons & Dragons tabletop arc uh, role-playing game, and is set in the Mastara campaign setting. It is a side-scrolling beat-em-up with some role-play video game, role-playing video game elements for up to one to four players. And the game was also released on a bunch of other stuff, nobody cares. Um, let's see, the Republic of Darukin in Mastara is under a terrible siege as a number of monsters and their attacks rise. Yeah, that opening. Uh, a group of four adventurers step forth to rescue various areas. Then are... Uh, okay, yeah. I was like, what if I told you it was this, this things you were reading with the scroll? Yeah, mark. seeing how well organized the monsters were, Kron Litton of Litton Merchant House began an investigation and became convinced that there was a greater evil behind the attacks. Look, I'm used to arcade games not telling me the plot. Although I guess I shouldn't really be surprised for Dungeons and Dragons. Okay, wow, we don't even get to know what the real thing is behind this. All right, probably let's probably if you wait for another one because I kept after it got his, I played a new one. So if you kept waiting, you probably play another. Oh no, never mind. Yeah, I was gonna say because it says eventually they learned that it's insert monster here. All right, let's do this. Welcome to well, well, welcome to welcome to the D and D world. You have to put in your own quarters. Well, 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 well welcome to the D and D world. Let's do this. Press start and pick your character. Oh, I'm taking the elf. Magic user. I will fuck you. Why? Because I like magic. You've got 11 seconds. You just gonna wait this out? Yeah. I think it's going to put you as the dwarf. Oh, no, cleric. Yeah, fuck you. Okay. So you leave in the morning. Well, then, register your name. Okay, uh... Use X. God damn it, Edie. Heal, boss! Brothers. You hear screams from up ahead. Alright, so this one's actually a little bit more complicated than just a regular beat em up. Fuck the kobolds! The bitch class of every D&D game. Oh, there we go. That's how I changed that. A wounded caravan guard co uh, collapses. Help us, please! Slay him! So uh, heading for the mountains, but others are gathering for an attack on the town. What should we do? Which do you want? Head to the town, head to the mountains. Pick one. Alright. Town is under siege. Many of the defenders have fallen to the monster's onslaught. So yeah, uh, you can press Y to shift your magic and items down in the bottom of your health bar underneath there, and B will be how you use them. Just fair warning, you get a limited amount of them until we take a long rest. Actually, D&D &D rules! Ow. Ouch. 
treasure. I was gonna say, I don't think I can take the hammers. Ow. There we go, I got him. You cannot pick up daggers. For some reason, you cannot use them. I don't know why, but you cannot. Did you die? Yes. Ow. Uh, stabbed a bunch. Also, because you're a lot tankier than I am. Because despite... Because despite being a cleric, you're technically... Uh, you're technically, like, closer to a paladin than anything. I have a box! Congratulations. Sorry, did you cast lightning? Alright, we killed him. Drove the monsters away from the town. Yay! We did it! We murdered them! We got experience! The women, the children. Thank you for rescuing our town and saving us all. Please accept this as a small token of our gratitude. It is said to have magical power! Discover that the weapon is indeed magical and will increase your attacking power. Yay, I reached fifth level. My HP went up by two points. Eight. Uh, this is the win. Uh, we can buy stuff if, uh, if we want. Uh, what the hell is this? Ocean of healing. I'll take it. I'm gonna take these. Are they useless? Mm -hmm. Shit. They're awful. Is that attacking fort? Grunt said to control illusions. If you take the main road, you better be on guard for monsters. On the road to Darokin City, the heart of the Republic. You leave town and head for the city of Derek and monsters prowl the main road. Hold on, out there! Oh, nice, you got another whole person. Way to go, catching on fire. Did you do the first? That did not sound like a moan. That was indeed a moan of a man. A manly man. There! Shakalibli! Are you okay? What happened? Help us. As part of patrol from Fort Crunch, we're hunting the beast when we are attacked by it. By now, it might be attacking the fort itself! Uh, fort! What a bitch move. <laughs> we don't need help, we can fight. 
Uh, we set some traps for the monsters in the fort. Be sure to watch out for them. I still only went up. Take that. I don't know what it does, but I'll take it. Snuck up on him. Oh shit. Oh no, I'm not dead. Well, oh, uh, that would be mine. Oh, whoops. Oh boy! Have fun with that. Oh, good. I don't think that works on him. Uh, he doesn't count as a person. Unfortunately not. Damn it. I got this. Stand back. No. I cast fireball. Oh, shit, fireball. I know. God, why'd you cast it on ninth level? It's <laughs> not how this works. What'd you do? I prayed to my god. My battle armor nipples. <laughs> Yours too? Oh shit. You have defeated the beast and rescued the fort. Fuck the people. Fuck, the people. <laughs> Fuck all the people. Let's see. As you are having dinner in the end, a stranger comes up and begins to talk to you. My lord, Corwin Linton, master of the city of Athenos, wishes to speak with you. He would have you come to the city of Athenos to meet with him. Yay! You only reached level six. Welcome. I well, I have no money. I'm out. I've also heard that some adventurers saved one of my lord's caravans. I doubt it. So you're the heroes I've heard so much about. Okay. I, just keep... I didn't press anything. I Did you touch either. the D-pad? No. When is arranged for a ship to carry you to Athena's the way by the still street? Lords of the Abyss, we're surrounded! Open up! It's the horny police! Why are you throwing the gold at them? Why am I throwing the gold at them? Uh, 
Okay, good. I have it back. Because if this is anything like, uh... If this is going to be anything like fucking uh, Shadow of Mistar, I'm going to need my fireball. What the fuck was that? I healed myself. Oh, nice. Ah, housekeeping. Oh, nice. Do you actually know that that would do that? Yeah. What did you guess? Yeah, fun fact, I love that you can just do turn undead a uh, unlimited amount of times. Which basically just means any undead we fight will just be fucked. Blew up. It's okay, I've got this. Oh, hey, my magic missile finally got leveled up. Wait, those things melt? What things? They, it just kind of melted when you burned it. Eat fucking hammer. Ah, god damn it. Okay, I shot him. I apparently got a bow somewhere. Oh god, there it is. I think my shirts are gonna work again. So yeah, what do you know about trolls? A lot. Troll. But did we? I did now. That's why I kept the fireball on hand. Managed to make your way to the city of Athenos. That was way easier than the second game. Finding the troll is way more difficult than there. How are you, level 7? Level 10. Hell yeah. You got one health point. <laughs> Welcome to my house. I am Corin Litton. I have waited for you since last uh, time out the Great Dragon Swamp. Uh, we will destroy it. Well spoken. Your fighting skill must be wonderful to behold. 
it's not. It really isn't. <laughs> You're just gonna burn everything with holy hellfire? Watch out for the dragon's acid breath. It'll dissolve anything it touches. I wish you good luck. You'll need it. What can it dissolve? Reach the dragon's shop. You are greeted with the eerie silence of the stench of foul water and stale air. What are you doing? This is just going to be your battle, isn't it? Also, can I take note that you're a higher level than me, but I have more experience than you, somehow. Hey, I found the dragon! How'd that go? Bad. He fucking hammers! Don't worry, I'll heal myself. Fuck you and your cheer wounds. Oh, I can electrocute water! No, you can't. Just like that last map. Oh, I wasn't paying attention last map. Defeated the horrible black dragon! Yes. That was way easier than I thought it would be. As it turns out, if you just have a magic user spam magic missiles at like third level, it goes really well. Oh, okay, level eight. And you're 11. I'm making you think you require less experience than I do. The adventure continues! Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Let's see, and you all know Monster Demon Hunter rates increased, becoming the only powerful but more organized uh, than ever before. There is obviously a guiding hand behind all of this. Uh, someone is causing these monsters to fight together rather than against each other. Have you tried Tiamat? <laughs> Not yet. Find this puppet master and cut the strings. I actually don't think Tiamat is in any of the games. Following Corrin's suggestion, you come to the town of Cornigan, where monster attacks have increased greatly. Welcome, I am Mayor of Cor Gillian. Lord Linton told me you were coming. There are three areas where the monsters frequently appear. Lord Linton says that you are great heroes. Please save our town from these fiends. No. Alright, a series of limestone caverns, the abandoned mine, or the edge of town. I'll let you pick. All right, edge of town. Welcome. I mean, I guess I'll restock my knives and arrows I spent against the dragon. I didn't really use anything else. When will those tragedies come to an end? Never. Just restart the universe and <laughs> take care of yourselves. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, be sure to leave it a like. And if you want to see more of my future content, be sure to hit the subscribe button. And to stay up to date with all of the releases that come out daily, be sure to click that bell. And if you're feeling a little bit generous, why not check out my Patreon page? Link is down in the description. And as always, until the next video, hasta.